In Ethiopia, one of the substantial industry sectors is construction and corresponding to some assessments, it is the second largest employment generator after agriculture. Recently, huge construction projects and also smaller ones have been launched by the Ethiopian government to eradicate poverty, expand Ethiopia's infrastructure and create jobs. 25 mega construction projects set to change Ethiopia 2022. Comparing the minor projects to the mega ones, like the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, we can see that the Ethiopian government is not afraid to reach deep into their coffers for the country's growth. For the present Ethiopian construction activities to be well understood, it is important to first know the key actors and drivers of the country's construction industry. The construction industry of the Federal Republic of Ethiopia is typified by a huge number of micro-entrepreneurs, most of whom carry on in the unofficial economy. The country's official construction sector is made up of natives and indigenized firms together with several civil engineering and construction companies. All contractors in this industry are registered with the Ethiopian Ministry of Urban Development and Construction. Ethiopia's rapid economic development during the past decades have been served by vigorous public and private expenditure on infrastructure and other construction works. Consistently, the country has invested over 30% of GDP into gross fixed capital formation since 2010 and as a result, the country has emerged one of the fastest growing economies in the world. Currently, the estimated market value of the construction sector is over $7 billion. Construction activities in Ethiopia accounts for 15.9% of the country's GDP. Welcome to Think Rich Africa, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and why not inspire you. Also, we want to introduce to you our special African development playlist because we strongly believe that entrepreneurship rather than global pity is the key to Africa's growth and development. So, if you are African and you are not subscribed to our community, you are indeed missing out. At the Horn of Africa is Ethiopia, a landlocked country divided by the Great Rift Valley. It is known for its old culture, with archaeological artifacts dating back over 3 million years, like the Lullabella with its rock-cut Christian buildings from the 12th to 13th centuries is one of the most important locations. The country has a number of these which sum to part of the push for infrastructural development, Let's dive straight into 25 out of the many ongoing construction projects to change Ethiopia 2022. 25. Beautifying Shiga Launched on the 27th of February 2019 under Prime Minister A.B. Ahmed, Beautifying Shiga is a project sponsored by the Ethiopian government which is aimed at cleaning rivers and creating public works in the capital city Addis Ababa. Expected to last for three years, the project is also aimed at increasing tourism and the quality of life and job creation in the capital city by the development of green spaces from Entodo to Akaki Waste Water Treatment Plant. It is also a target of the project to convince citizens to assist in the cleaning efforts. Even with Ethiopia's recent economic development, no actions have been made on the environment to reduce industrious and urban waste. The Chinese government through the China Communications Construction Company funded 12 kilometers out of the total 56 to be built using $1 billion. Apart from the road itself, the venue has a recreational space, an artificial lake and a wedding venue. All these are found in front of the Sheraton Addis Hotel. 24. Laguerre Found in Addis Ababa, the capital city of Ethiopia, Logaya stands for a non-segregated community made up of residential, commercial, hospitality, retail and leisure facilities in one secure and exclusive setting surrounding a park. The establishment covers an area of about 360,000 square meters closer to Addis Bol International Airport with a rail line passing along its northern end. Located at the heart of the city, Logaire is surrounded by four five-star hotels, aided by retail outlets, offices and residential buildings. The partnership between the Ethiopian government and Eagle Hills aims at developing a social housing component within the master plan where residences will be built to eventually lodge the habitants already living at the project site. Mohamed Alaba, 
Chairman of Eagle Hills on commenting on the expansion of the project said, as a hidden treasure in Africa, Ethiopia is wealthy in history, culture and natural beauty. Our plan is to bring out such attractive locations across the globe, showing the beauty and capability within them, calling on future residents and tourists to consider new homes. More so, with a skyline and city center, Logair is ready to contribute to the market by providing jobs, which will further strengthen the economy of the country. Being a project of passion, Logair is being constructed on land of heritage. It is built on historical lands of Logair train station, which has existed for a long period. The establishment's trade pull is matchless and is smoothly fixed into grounds that bring a new way of life to Ethiopia. Being a vibrant modern trade and leisure spot at the center of the city, Ludgau's retail district is set among sophisticated plazas and open spaces, with a central attention of being pedestrian-friendly with a vast collection of home and foreign food and beverage choices, having modern schemes which are of interest to the new generation of clients. Twenty-three, Mass Transportation System Improvement Program in an effort to build up the mass transportation operations in Addis Ababa, four standardized bus terminals are on their way to progressive construction. Located in Piazza, Mercado, Summit and Meganitma, the terminals will accommodate facilities like cafes, ticket offices and shops. The launching of this project came before the approval of the city's 10th master plan. The designs of the terminals are aimed at improving mass transportation services offered by different buses at points of departure and arrival. They're also meant to cope with the wide increase of mass transportation needs in the city, which has been acknowledged in the city's current master plan. Presently, Anis Ababa has about 376 Haida buses, 374 Kikit buses, 405 public servants buses, 603 Anabesa, 37 Shiga and 27 Alliance buses. Moreover, this project aims at adding 300 more Shiga and 500 different buses, all of which will use the terminals as their hubs. The bus station situated in Makato is the first to benefit from this scheme, followed by Piazza, then Summit, and finally Magema. 22. Addis Africa International Convention Center The new convention and exhibition center occupy about 10 hectares of land surrounding a 24,000 square meter area owned by the Exhibition Center and Market Development Enterprise at Mescal Square. It is the largest conference exhibition place in the city, bringing with conference halls, a seven-star hotel, a flexible exhibition center, and a parking lot that will accommodate 2,500 vehicles. It also features a museum inside its premises. The designed auditorium and conference halls stretches over 17,000 square meter, while the total area assigned for conference and exhibition space is 57,000 square meter and the halls have been designed to accommodate flexible spaces ranging from 4,000 square meter to 12,000 square meter. The design of this center was prepared by the Spanish company, Fira Barcelona. They were reviewed during four forums organized by a tax force with members from the Addis Abeba Chamber of Commerce and Sectorial Association, City Trade and Construction Office and Mayor's Office. The project is a stepping stone for the country to tap businesses in the thriving travel meeting tourism, according to experts. The center will stimulate the city, making it more vibrant and active in other chain businesses like designing a contemporary transportation system, food and beverage quality, supplies, and the hotel business. While a prospectus has been sourced to finance the construction project, 80% of the center's clients are targeted to be international organizers. 21. The Mosib Tower with a design exactly as the round woven basket called the Mosib, traditionally used instead of a table, the Mosb Tower is a construction project which aims at reflecting both cultural heritage and modern construction advancements. As a symbol of unity for tourists, the tower will be built into the sky and will dispense upon its attainment, qualified and adequate human resources to the tourism industry. The establishment is a 70-story building 250 meters sky, scraping cultural hotel, built on 20,000 meter square of land. It consists of a hotel, shopping mall, 
cultural center representatives of all regions of Ethiopia, a gym and a golf club amongst others. This project will contribute to the Ethiopian communication industry and boost cultural exchange. It is constructed on a budget of 20 billion baht and is to be accomplished through joint venture, fundraising and active participation of various stakeholders including private owners, investors, institutions, state governments, party representatives among others. This original and iconic building is the first of its kind and is being built in public-private partnership. Twenty the largest airport in Africa. On track to becoming Africa's gateway into the world, Ethiopia is constructing a new point of entry and departure made to triple the size of the Bol International Airport in the capital city, Addis Ababa. Built on a budget of about 5 billion US dollar, the newly expanded airport can handle 22 million passengers from the 7 million handled by the old Bol International Al Airport. The new development is creating rumors around the continent with reports stating that Bol is now the biggest airport in Africa compared to the OR Tambo Airport in Johannesburg. Current modifications are being made on the project aiming for a bigger facility with the potentials to contain at least 100 million passengers world's traffic will definitely reduce as a result of this project. As a result of this ongoing construction project, the capital's biggest hotel has been opened by the state carrier Ethiopian Airlines as an effort to raise its foray in the hospitality sector. Free tours in the city will also be offered to passengers transiting for more than six to eight hours. All these raise up Ethiopia's status as Africa's foremost international center. 19. The Adwa Center at the core of Addis Ababa, the city administration has begun construction of the Adwa Center. The center is being built on a piece of land that was originally handed to the Ethiopian-born Saudi billionaire Mohammed Ali al Moody's company, Midrop Construction, but later taken back by the city administration. The establishment is done on purpose to celebrate the triumph of Adwa and Priots and will wholly display the history of the victory. The center incorporates a museum, a total capacity of 2,000 people meeting hall, three smaller auditoriums with a capacity of 400 people, a parking space for over 600 cars, a cinema theater, a library, a gym, cafeterias and a childcare center amidst other leisure provisions. Ad War Victory is regarded as an African victory because it is the first ever African victory over European colonizers. It strengthened other African countries who struggled against their colonial masters to gain independence. Being designed to feature the letter A, this building is being constructed on a budget of 156 million US dollars. 18. Janelle Dawa 3 Hydroelectric Plant Located in southwest Ethiopia, the Janal Dawa 3 hydropower project is set to be operational soon. Using center by 2025 is the energy sector. The country plans to increase the present 4,300 megawatts electricity generating potential to 17,300 megawatts by 2025 with power generating projects in hydro, wind, geothermal and biomass sectors. Due to this goal, the Janal Dawa 3 hydropower project was launched in 2010 with a budget of $451 million. The project was suspended for more than a year due to issues related to resettling of people who lived near the dam. The project is being undertaken by China Gesheba Group, who is expected to add the country's generation potential to 4,514 megawatts. The power project is said to be 99% complete and out of the 254 megawatts power project built on Dawa River, the government covered about $67.8 million while the rest was covered by external loan. 17. The Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway Serving as the backbone of the recent Ethiopian National Railway Network, the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway is a new standard gauge international railway which was set in motion by Prime Minister Hail Mariam Dessalane on 1 January 2018. It provides landlocked Ethiopia access to the sea connecting the country's capital Addis Ababa with Djibouti. 
The railway's total capacity is 24.9 million tons of freight yearly, with a yearly expectation of 6 million tons in 2023. In that effect, construction works are as well going on in the port of Darala to widen the yearly cargo control magnitude. 84,073 passengers were transported by the railway in 2019 which raised a revenue of 1.2 million US dollars from service and 40 million US dollars from both passenger and cargo which was far below the operating cost of 470 million US dollars. In the first half of 2020, the railway transported 0.7 million tons of freight. The railway is collaboratively owned by the Djiboutian and Ethiopian governments and in Ethiopia, the state-owned Ethiopian Railway Corporation represents the owner of the railway. A binational company, known as the Ethio Djibouti Standard Gauge Rail Transport SOC, was created in 2017 to run the railway with its headquartering in Addis Ababa. 75% of the shares of this company, including the post of CEO, are held by Ethiopia. Currently, the company plays an administering role, but will take over railway operations at the beginning of 2024. All the works on the new railway in 2023 will be done in association with China Railway Group Limited and China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation. Local employees will be trained during this period to take over railway activities at the end of the first operation time. More so, the African Railway Academy in Bishoftu has been created to graduate rail engineers. The railway line has a length of 759 km in total, 754 km of which runs between two terminal stations at Sepeda and the port of Dorale. 666 km of the railway line is in Ethiopia, while a total of 93 km is in Djibouti. 21 railway stations have been dedicated along this railway, most of which serve as passing loop stations. This railway was based on the Chinese National Railway Class 2 standard, and the railway is almost fully electrified. 16. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam Officially known as the Millennium Dam and located about 45 km east of the border with Sudan, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is a gravity dam on the Blue Nile River in Ethiopia, whose construction stayed in 2011. Its primary objective is to generate electricity and mitigate Ethiopia's critical energy insufficiency with abundance to export to other countries. It is the largest hydroelectricity power plant in Africa to be completed and seventh largest in the world with a planned installed capacity of 5.15 gigawatts. Its first water filling phase was completed on the 19th of July 2021 in disagreement with Egypt and Sudan. It produced electricity for the first time on the 20th of February 2022 and delivered it to the grid at a rate of 375 megawatts. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is being constructed on a budget of close to 5 billion US dollars, about 7% of 2016 GDP. Due to Egypt's campaign to keep control on the Nile water distribution, there has been a lack of international financing for this project. Consequently, Ethiopia has financed the GERD with crowdfunding from selling bonds and followed up contributions from employees' income. But, the Exim Bank of China has funded a total cost of 1 billion US dollars for turbines and electrical equipment. The dam constitutes three spillways of 18,000 cubic meters of concrete designed for flood up to 38,500 cubic meters, which isn't considered to happen. The main and block spill gate is located to the left of the main dam and will be controlled by six floodgates. The unblocked or auxiliary spillway is found at the center of the dam with an open width of about 205 meters. And finally, the third spillway, which is an emergency spillway, is located to the right of the curved saddle dam with a base level of 642 meters. It consists of two powerhouses at either sides of the auxiliary unblocked spillway. The right powerhouse is to contain 10 times 375 megawatts Francis turbine generators, while the left powerhouse contains 6 times 375 megawatts of same turbine generators. The main contractor in this project is we build an Italian company. 15. Addis Adama Expressway 
connecting Addis Ababa to Adama, the toll road is the first expressway constructed in Ethiopia. Built between 2012 and 2016 by the China Communications Construction Company, the road solved the problem of traffic between its two endpoints and reduced the time required to reach Adama from Addis Ababa by 60% compared to the previous available routes. Constructed at a cost of $171 million, the resulting highway has six lanes on two sides for its 84.7-kilometer length and also connects Addis Ababa to Awasa through a junction at Mojo. 43% of the road's cost was covered by Ethiopia's government, while 57% was provided by a loan from the Exim Bank of China. The expressway has seven toll stations, 48 toll gates, three checkpoints for bulking cargo overloading on freight vehicles, eight large bridges, 77 small bridges, eight toll booths alongside surveillance cameras, lights and fences throughout the 84.7 km. 14. Renovation of the Mescal Square being the main public gathering space in Ethiopia's capital Addis Ababa for decades, the Mescal Square renovation was added to the Beautifying Shiga initiative. The project, which costs 2.6 billion baht, has given a major facelift to the square. Its successful establishment has furnished the gathering site with integrated facilities which include an underground parking space capable of accommodating 1,400 vehicles. Renovation also increased the square's accommodation ability to more than half a million people for religious and public outdoor holidays. Indeed, the individuals and institutions who took part in the completion of this project are worth the recognition for contributing to Ethiopia's goal of becoming an African star. 13. Ambrihot, Ethiopia's biggest library. Located in front of the Parliament Hall at Arat Kilo, it is a construction project of a 19,000-square-meter facility which costs more than 1.1 billion beer. Initiated and inaugurated by Prime Minister A.B. Ahmed, the library serves as a key to unlock the immense potential of Ethiopians. It is the largest public library in the nation, with 1.5-kilometer long shelves capable of holding 1.4 million books. The four-story facility also has eight bookstores, a reunion room, a cafeteria, children's reading section, and a parking capable of accommodating 115 vehicles at a time. The library is a current home to more than 300,000 local and 120,000 international research papers. The project, among others, is one that testifies Ethiopia's commitment to making the nation attractive. 12. The Entodo Natural Park Lying on the southeastern slopes of Vent Entodo, between the north limit of the city of Addis Ababa, the Entodo Natural Park is one of serenity and resounding joy. With the aim of making it a world-class experience, the natural park, which lacked the necessary infrastructures and stayed underdeveloped for a very long period, was visited by the Prime Minister A.B. Ahmed, who initiated its standardization project. Constructed with potential imagination and ingenuity at a total cost of 4.8 billion baht, the planning and building of the park was done by only Ethiopians with respect to knowledge and finance. It is currently a completely equipped park with several indoor and outdoor facilities which involves sports centers, a library, entertainment spots, restaurants, coffee shops, artificial lakes, fountain walkways, bikes and scooter. The beautiful blend of the local material used for construction and the natural environment of the park can indeed not be ignored. 11. TAMS Hydropo Project Currently at the realization stage, TAMS is a 1,700 MW hydropower project being established on the Barro Ekobo River in Gambela. It is a reservoir-based project owned by the Ethiopian Ministry of Water and Energy. The project's plan involves a hydro reservoir with a capacity of 4.8 million cubic meters and a generation expectation of 5,760 gigawatts hour of electricity. The Thames project, which has been estimated to cost $3,242 million, is expected to be commissioned by 2025. 10. Majanagna Intracity Public Transport Terminal 
Designed by O Bon Voyage and Engineers Consultant, a local consultancy firm, the project was estimated to cost 2 billion beer. It is situated in Warada 08 of Yika District and is being constructed by the Addis Ababa City Administration. Expected to host 25,000 commuters an hour, using all sorts of public transportation such as mid-buses, minibuses, taxis, the Addis Ababa Light Rail Transit and Mita Taxis, the terminal is the first of its kind to Addis Ababa. The project's main objective is to solve the problem of passenger congestion in that area, thereby reducing traffic accidents. The terminal, which lies on an 11,790 square meters plot of land, has a basement ground and six stories. It accommodates a cafeteria, restaurant, shops, a vehicle parking floor, offices, meeting halls, administration offices, a waiting area, toilets, gardens on each floor, and a recreational center at the top. The terminal, which also has additional features like ramps, escalators, ventilators, and digitalized screens for transmission of passenger information, is one which is worth highlighting in Ethiopia. 9. Addis Ababa Bowl International Airport Formerly known as Hale Selassie I International Airport, it is located in the Bol District, 6 km southeast of the city center and 65 km north of Bishoftu. It is the major center of the Ethiopian Airlines, the national airline serving destinations within the country and all over the continent in addition to its non-stop service to Asia, Europe, North America and South America. It is the base of the Ethiopian Aviation Academy. Constructed at a cost of 130 million US dollars, it is capable of handling about 3,000 passengers an hour and its main objective is to ease traffic congestion due to the rapid increase in international travel. It has two terminals, a total of 11 gates and more than 30 remote aircraft parking stands behind both terminals. The airport has a Cloud9 business class lounge which provides premium travelers with modern facilities and amenities. It also includes a spa, private digital lockers for passengers to stow away their bags, a traditional Ethiopian coffee corner, a quiet corner with sleeping cots, individual reading lamps, massage chairs, and an internet corner with free Wi-Fi connection. The Addis Ababa Bowl International Airport is not just Ethiopia's, but as well one of Africa's best. 8. Unity Park Constructed at a cost of more than 170 million US dollars, the park is one of Ethiopia's most modern and multifarious tourist attractions. It is located in the compound of the National Palace, which is at Aretkelo in Addis Ababa. The park, which is one of Addis Ababa's beautification project, occupies 20 hectares of land. It is made up of cultural, historical, and heritage tourism attractions. Its unique natural attractions include zoos and gardens, its historical attractions does not only show the existence of objects in a palace which were all made of gold, but also shows the level of an ancient civilization. Among the historical relics are books written in Amharic, English and Jeez languages which are very old and are used for research and study worldwide, traditional handmade furniture, advanced telecommunication devices, transportation cars, and a photo gallery of great world leaders. The various carvings of the park represents the culture, civilization and strength of Ethiopian nationalities. The carvings are made of wood, stone and mud. 7. The Fairfax Oil Refinery Project Located in the Ethiopian eastern town of Awash, 220 km from Addis Ababa, the refinery has the potentials to process 6 million metric tons of crude oil, which is approximately 120,000 barrels per day. It is a 4 billion US dollars worth project, handled by a US-based investment firm, Fairfax Africa Fund, in collaboration with partners from Asian countries, expected to satisfy the nation and the rest of East African market. 6. Aluto Lango Geothermal Power Station Also referred to as the Aluto Langano Geothermal Power Station, it is the oldest geothermal power station in Ethiopia. It is located within the dormant Aluto volcano between Lake Langano and Ziwe, approximately 219 kilometers by road, south of Addis Ababa. 
considered to have the potentials of generating up to 100 megawatt of electric power, the geothermal field at the Aludo dormant volcano occupies an area of about 8 square kilometers. The plant is currently under expansion by the Ethiopian Ministry of Mines and Energy with a total cost of 218 million US dollars. The Aluto Langano Power Station is owned by Ethiopia Electric Power, which is the national electricity monopoly. 5. Menelik Palace Also known as the Imperial Palace or Great Kebi, it is a palatial compound in Addis Ababa, which was the seat of the Ethiopian power of emperors. The project was paired with the construction of a new residence for the Prime Minister and was estimated to cost 120 million burr under the supervision of Melas's wife. It includes buildings like the Gibra Adarash, the Zufan Adarash, Teneka Negist Mausoleum and the Shenga Hall. It also consists of several residences, halls, chapels and working buildings. The palace serves Ethiopia as a venue for very large gatherings, large state banquets, an ad hoc prison for high-ranking officials, and a venue for occasional meetings. 4. Defense Force Headquarters Also serving as the national headquarter of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and Ministry of Defense, it is a building located in Addis Ababa, which was inaugurated on 9 January 2022. Occupying over 13,000 square meters of land, it has close to 770 rooms and 32 kitchens over five floors. It hosts meeting halls, libraries, research centers, and organized information centers. As a compound, the construction has another 36,000 square meters of land for helicopter landing and a small airport for jets or planes. Constructed on a budget of 552 million US dollars, it is one of Ethiopia's most astonishing projects. 3. Pushkin Gotera Road Project The project is a 3.8 km road that incorporates three segments and construction of a two-lane 320 m tunnel. Contracted by China First Highway Engineering Co. Limited, the project is a manifestation of Ethiopia's commitment and dedication to undertaking vital development projects in a short period of time with higher quality. It is an example of an excellent road project execution in Ethiopia, which is constructed with the objective of tremendously improving traffic flow in Addis Ababa, which is a highly congested part of the country. Located in the central western part of the city, the road whose construction costs 1.5 billion burr stretches from the Pushkin Square to the Gotera Interchange in Nifas Silk Lafto District. 2. Renovation of the Addis Ababa City Hall Known as an invaluable heritage and a cross-generational resource for the city, the hall had already existed for 57 years. While maintaining its original design and appearance, its renovation project cost 2.2 billion baht. The hall is made up of a daycare center, specially made spaces for the disabled, training and research halls, a clinic, a theater hall, meeting halls, cafeterias for staff and the general public, offices that provide additional services, enough parking space, green spaces, as well as city farming slots. Inaugurated in the presence of top city officials, the renovation of the municipality, under the supervision of the Dubai-based LLC Engineering and Contracting LLC, began in August 2020. It involves landscaping, renovating offices, and the 850-seat theatre hall, and building new faculties such as a 50,000 square meters children's playground inside the premises. 1. Addis Ababa Riverside Project Expected to cost 29 billion burr, the project's objective is to enhance the well-being of city dwellers by solving the problem of flooding and pollution through the creation of public spaces and parks, bicycle parks, and walkways along the riverside. The project extends through the densely populated villages known as Basha Walled Chalet, Siga Medeta and Arogu Kera, starting from Mount Entodo to Akaki covering 56 kilometers of green grass. With financial support from the state-owned China Construction Company, the project is already halfway to completion. 
Even though the development has been criticized for not respecting two of the 15 principles of sustainable development, the project is progressing with its goal as far as waste management and difficulties in implementing and sustaining urban green infrastructure in the city is concerned. All these mega construction projects and many more minor projects have a synergy which synopsizes all of Ethiopia's endeavors into a triumph which is the fast-growing economy of present-day Ethiopia. As seen in Ethiopia, Africa is truly an embodiment of unexploited beauty. So, to all Ethiopians drifting away from their country, it's time to go back and join the rapid positive growth. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to subscribe and become an official member of our growing diverse community here on Think Rich Africa. Thanks for watching and see you in our next exciting video.